So, Mike, HPE reporting EPS here 45 cents versus expectations of 40 cents. Revenue at 7.22 billion. The street was at 7.26 billion. But for the year, Mike, they do now raise their EPS EPS forecast. So they're looking for between a dollar seventy-two and a dollar seventy-six. She was at dollar sixty-eight. They also reiterate their free cash flow guidance here of 1.4 to 1.6 billion. In terms of segments, hybrid IT, so that servers, uh, storage, associated software, 5.5 billion intelligent edge so networking equipment 762 million and finance services 888 million i did have the chance to catch up with the hp uh, e ceo antonio neri i wanted just his take on the health um, and state of it spending antonio neri telling us that um, it is solid in his words did see certain softness in, in some segments notably called out compute and storage um, some investors and analysts may may worry that does that mean therefore that hpe and really the rest of the industry would have to lower prices. Um, Neary simply saying, listen, look at my margin performance, which he says does remain strong. We also talked about tariffs. Uh, Antonio Neary telling me so far his company has been able to manage to mitigate that tariff impact. In part, he told me, benefiting from a diversified supply chain at his company. Antonio Neary is actually going to be on CNBC tomorrow morning on Squawk on the Street, where I'm sure he'll talk about this report and a whole lot else. Guys, back to you. I'm sure we will. Josh Lipton, thank you. It's amazing. The stock's actually down 22% over the past six months, but we are seeing it's this. It's been a rough ride, yeah. It's yeah. obviously some relief. Also, very, very cheap looking stock, but value stocks have not really tempted a lot of uh, big investors recently.